Hey guys, welcome back to Puffalato. And welcome back to Cafe Enchante. Oh my god, last episode has healed my wounded heart. Uh, I'm really excited. I hope that Kotone and Rindo are together forever. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, but regardless, um, we're going to find out what happens next. I guess I'm assuming that they're just going to go back and tell the guys, hey, like, we've decided to be together. So let's go. We take our time as we return back to Enchante. Stepping inside, I expected to be swarmed by the patrons asking every question they could think of, but... Huh? Only you, Eel? To my surprise, Eel is the only one inside on Shantae. Oh yeah, okaeri nasai, futari tamo. Mou kaette kita no desu ka? Sassy. Ma, amari osoku natte mo yoku nai to omotte ne. Minna wa, mada chousa chiu kana. Eel simply shakes his head in response to Mr. Rindo's query. Iye, sono chousa nara ba, 14 shi goro ni wa owarimashite. Minna sude ni kaette kita ato desu ne. So where are they? <laughs> so where is everyone? Karia was sude ni kitaku shimashi ta ga Michelle to Karus wa Ignis o tsurete oseki han o kai ni iku to itte imashita. Wait, what? Cake? Ah. Yappari Michelle ni wa bareteru no kana. Oh no. Oh no. Huh? What? If that's true, this is so embarrassing. Out of nowhere, the door suddenly slams open. They're back. I turn it around, not knowing how I should greet them, but... Oi! Yabe koto ni natten zo! Huh? Ignis and the others all ran inside with tension on their face. Yabe koto... to wa? Iru. Shinjuku de kensaku shite. Eel senses the urgency and immediately types the words into his tablet. He adds GPM to the search. The fact that the GPM is working in relation to non-humans isn't known. Mazira once said before that things are best hidden in plain sight. So the headquarters itself is made public under the name of a certain corporation. Then suddenly... Huh? We all look into the tablet to find... Oh, God. An eerie shadow of a tower. A reddish-black shadow has covered the GPM headquarters. It's like blood, but it's like pink slime. The towering building in Shinjuku has suddenly been coated in a reddish-black. The news immediately spreads throughout the internet and is now on the front page of every news site. Seeing what happened, we jump into Mr. Rindo's car and head towards the GPM headquarters. Mazir and the rest left before us so that they could act as a reconnaissance for us. We've notified Karia via social network to stay home. He's still wearing Ignis's frickin' hoodie. Uh, okay. Following Mr. Rindo's orders, I quickly grab the tablet and set it on my lap. Mr. Rindo gives me instructions and the password to access the shared database, which I'm pretty sure is illegal, but that's fine, because whatever, the company's going downhill anyway, so... <laughs> but it says we can't contact those inside and their whereabouts are unknown. The GPM branches within the area sent in their crew, but they can't get in. Let me see. I open the social media platform and search for various keywords such as GPM and Shinjuku. There's some saying it's just a prank or some kind of art piece. There are differing opinions, but with the police quarantine around the area, some think something big is happening. There's some posts saying that they saw people touch the shadow and immediately collapse. I guess with the quarantine there are many reports about it now. No matter how much I search, I can't find anything on what happened. It seems like the building simply turned into that towering reddish black tower in an instant. I check the pictures on the news sites. The building is covered in a thick shadow. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. Um, 
What is that shadow? あれには見覚えがあるよ。僕が見た時はまだあれほどの規模じゃなかったけどね。はあ。wait。you just as the internet rumors had it, the police have closed off the area to the GPM. The police questioned us, but Mr. Rindo's status at the GPM allowed us to get through. Mazir and Neil come down from the sky just as we park and get out of the car in front of the GPM. Mazir, Eel! Yaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
そのあたりは相手も用意周到ですしかも包み込むようにして保護されていますから難しいでしょう参ったねまるで鉄壁の城塞じゃないか Everyone falls silent as we try to put our minds together to find a way in. アンシャンテの皆がそろい踏みとはやはりこうしてみるとそうかんだね。Well, at least he's alive. Suddenly, I hear Mikado's voice echoing through the area. その声はミカド Everyone immediately puts their guard up hearing the voice. But Mikado is nowhere to be found. ミカドてめえどこにやがる雫の影を通じて君たちに声を届けているだけさ本体はもちろん本部ビルの中だよ That's amazing that he figured out how to do that but still さて君たちに会えたことは嬉しいが僕と雫は少々取り込み中でねできれば邪魔しないでほしいのだよ Mr. Rendo takes a step forward at hearing Mr. Mikado's calm voice. Mikado. Rindo. Mata aete ure shi yo. Honto ni ne. Kotone kun wa kimi o skut tan da ne. Mikado. Omae wa. Omae to Shizuku wa. Ittai nani o suru tsumori nan da. Kore dake no koto o shite. 僕のような犠牲者まで出してどうするつもりなんだ<笑> Silence prevails Soon enough, a very calm voice resonates through the now tainted area そうだね話したいこともあるしリンドウとコトネ君君もこちらに招待しよう Just us two? ああ他のメンツは遠慮願いたい。内部に潜り込まれてしまうと、さすがに対応が面倒だろうからね。Oh! What? It's like the Red Sea or something. With Mikado's voice, a piece of the shadow disappears as if to signal us inside. 二人は僕の大切な友人だ。傷つけないと約束するさっけんなこんな言葉信じられるわけねえだろうがええ確実にこれは罠かと Everyone seems to be against this Mr. Rendo suddenly looks up and speaks as if he can see Mr. Mikado ミカドは僕だけじゃダメかい Mr. Rendo? He isn't going there alone, is he? I want to tell him no, but Mr. Mikado stops me from saying anything. Now that I think about it, our situations are similar. Mikado also said that he didn't want to lose his friend. I recall my meeting back at the park and made up my mind. I'll go with you. Kodone-chan! If we don't do something, this shadow thing is just going to keep spreading. You're Mikado's friend, right? If so, then I think we can trust Mikado. Kodone. Muri dake wa shicha dame da yo. I promise. Alright, okay. Rindo, I smile at everyone looking at me as Mr. Rindo takes my hand. We slowly head into the opening the shadow made, our hands tightly holding one another's. Oh, ew, what the hell is going on? There's no one in sight in the GPM. We slowly follow the path made by the shadow through the reddish black painted interior. I don't see anyone. So, done. Motomoto inakata te hanashinara indakado. 
Today is a weekday, and even during the night, I'm sure a lot of people were still working here. Mr. Rindo must know that. We carry on our way with a stern look on our faces, eyes open for any survivors. We stop in our steps hearing Mikado's voice. Really, Mikado? You're gonna make us walk up, like, literally 80 fucking, like, flights of stairs? <laughs> we look at each other and nod and walk towards the door. Wow, that's the reason why he wants us to take the stairs. Okay. Flashback time. Flashback time. Oh my god, I don't know what to expect. Shojiki Bokua. Ken Lokuya Tachibani Kyomi wa Amari Naiga. Ken Kuni Jiuga Kikuno wa Yuigi na Kotoda. しずくを人間に戻すためによりよい環境が手に入るならばと昇進の話を受けることにしたんだその先昇進した部署そのものがこの世の地獄とも言える場所だなんて何も知らずにね The GPM number 2 R&D department the first thing I saw after coming here was a non-human on a rampage inside of a cell. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Yokoso, Daini Kaihatsukai, Mikado Akira-kun. Gacho, kono chinga ya. Ah. That's not a word I associate with the uncommunicable type 2 non humans. His words sound awkwardly vague, so I decide to probe a bit further. Why would they're so dumb? Why would they put Makado? Like, I guess, like, they must not know that Makado's girlfriend is a fucking non human. But seriously, like, oh my god. Oh god. It's so fucking stupid. That was easy. He said exactly what I suspected. <laughs> Ew, I hate how he laughed, too. Jingaika,即身役。んそれほど驚くことかね。君とて、手元に人外化した人間を第一に抱えているじゃないか。He knows this, and he's still brought in here. What is going on? What is I'm just literally so stupid. They're so dumb. I don't, I don't understand. He looks at me with cold eyes, to which I instinctively pull Ku close to my arms. この第二開発科ではね、人間を人外へと進化させるという革新的な技術を研究しているんだ。進化家の進化なんでそんなこと？これは人類の発展と繁栄のためには無視できない研究なんだよ。君も知っての通り。人外というのは我々人間よりもハイスペックな肉体を持つものばかり。彼らのその長所のみを我々人間に移植することができれば凄まじい価値になるとは思わんかね。長所のみって例えば人外の持つ生命力。
これを人間に与えられれば病気の克服につながる現代の医学では治せない不治の病や瀕死の怪我などの治療に人外の持つ要素は役立つかもしれないそれだけでなく人体の一部分のみを人外化できれば人体腕力の強化につながり災害救助に役立つかもしれないだが人外の権利などを騒ぐ輩も多くてねその結果は君も知っての通り最も人類発展に貢献するはずのこの第二開発家は存在を隠匿されてしまっているのだよ No wonder. That would explain the disclaimer when I signed the promotion to keep all matters secret. ここはこんな部署だったんですね。ああ、おかげで常に人材不足でね。金属年数が長く、理念を理解してくれそうな人員を常に探しているんだ。You guys are so dumb. Oh my God. 副局長に君を推薦してもらえて本当に良かったよ。Oh my God. So he's the one who recommended me to be reassigned here. I'm not sure whether I or not I should be happy hearing that. Koko ni iru jingai wa. Iya, moto ningen wa. Doko kara tsurete kitan desu ka? Kenkyu ni kua wareba sugu ni wakaru sa. Ma, taite wa jingai ka mo shikata nai to omoeru yona ningen tachi da ga ne. I see. Like you said earlier, that means the non humans here were terminally ill or are criminals. The GPM is a government institution. Sourcing from hospitals and prisons is easy. I suppose they use undisclosable means. しかし、長く続く研究の中でも、知性を保持したままの人外化はどうしてもかなわないんだ。みな人格も理性も失い、凶暴化した挙句に対話もままならない。ミカドアキラ君、君ならば無論やってくれるだろう。君はすでに人外化した人間を所持している研究者なのだから。Did he just admit that they turned Shizuku into a non-human in front of him? Oh my god! そう言われては僕は何も言えなかった。人外をクーちゃんを手元に置いて常に実験しているマッドサイエンティスト。それが GPM 上層部での僕の評価だったからね。でも正直最初の説明を聞いたときはこれでようやく人の目を気にせずに。雫のための研究をできると喜んだよ。僕はずっと、雫を元に戻すためなら、どんな実験もいとわなかった。だからこそ、そんな僕は確かに、第二開発家にふさわしいんだろう。けれど、僕は見つけてしまったんだ。第二開発家の研究に加わってすぐ。その禁断のファイルを。Oh God. After listening to the boss's explanation, he took me on a tour around the area before leading me to their library where they kept their data. あんな物々しい説明があった割に、今までいた研究室と大して変わらないみたいだね。クーちゃん。I held my breath as soon as I began talking to Ku. I noticed her eyes were shining. They looked like the eyes of a beast, ready to hunt its prey. She didn't react much besides when it was time to dine, but. I look in the direction she was looking at to see a shelf of documents. I slowly head towards the shelf when I notice that Ku starts to twitch a little. I grab the file she's staring at. The file was labeled non human sample records. Is this a file that has all the records of those who were tuned into non humans? If so, it may offer a hint on how I can make her human again. I hurriedly look inside the file. K 
Case 56, subject GPM Finance G, selected due to legal infractions. See video file 11021205-6. Subject is a failure, exterminated by Intelligence Division. Case 88, subject Civilian B, took a Type 3 into custody and was injured. See video file 11092308. Subject is a failure. Rampaged with the Type 3. Exterminated with drug dosage. Case 92. Subject RNDR. Tried to expose number 2's inhumane practices. See video file 12082392. Currently under Akira Mikado's care. Under strict surveillance. No particular results yet. He gets to... He should find that video, like... Wait. I toss the file to the side and run to a nearby computer. I quickly search the files and find the video file. Video 12082392. I play the video. It showed Shizuku captured and injected with a drug that slowly and painfully changed her into a non-human. <laughs> Shizuku was in a cell. Shizuku cried her name out loud. She broke out of her cell and devoured a researcher whole. Her suffering captured in that video replays in my head. I thought Shizuku's failed experiment was what led her to turn into a non-human, but I was wrong. Case 92, subject R&DR, tried to expose number two's inhumane practices. She wasn't the perpetrator at all. She was a victim. <laughs> a burning rage fills my heart. Shizuku was taken from me. And not because of fate or an accident. She was taken from me because of pure and simple evil. <laughs> Humans turned an innocent human into a non-human. Human. They weren't human. Oh god. I can't blame him at all for this. We're gonna stop here. But holy fucking crap. I can't blame him at all. Seriously. That is awful. Like, why? Oh. Um. <sighs> Imagine watching the love of your life be tortured in front of you and not being able to do anything. And be working for the people who tortured them the whole time. Like, that is awful. Oh my god. Next episode, we're gonna fucking finish this off. This is the, I'm assuming, the finale, but we're, we're gonna find out. Uh, Jesus Christ, Mikado. Oh, God. I, I, is it naive of me to say that I really hope that Shizuku, like, survives and everybody, like, stays alive? Yes, probably. I don't know. I don't see this ending well for anybody. I'm really afraid. Ugh.